to you, Bad Weather Terrible. Today we have a new deck for you called the Sand Whisk, featuring our Whisk Cash from Rebel Clash and also Fusion Strike Swampert with the Muddy Maker ability, allowing you to attach a Water Energy or a Fighting Energy from your hand to any one of your Pokemon. For each Swampert you have in play every single turn, we have the Earthquake attack doing 180 damage for only one Water and two Colorless Energy cards. We have the Earthquake for Whisk Cash as well, doing 140 damage for only two Fighting Energies. We also have the ability Submerge to protect our own Whisk Cash on the bench from any damage by our opponent's Pokemon. So all we need to do is bench as many Barbos to start with, evolve them as fast as possible to activate the bench berry effect to protect yourself from gmax rapid flow and all of those bench snipe effects but this ability is not perfect because it doesn't protect you from damage counters or abilities so if they use intellion quick shooting they can still place damage counters on your bench whisk cash so you need to watch out for that so to sum our basics we have three copies of vip pass four level balls and three quick balls we have one great ball for either the evolution or our basic pokemon we have four evolution intenses and three rare candies one marsh tom we're only playing three mudkips and two swampers in this deck we have four whisk cash and four barboach one raw to shuffle back our pokemon and basic energies. We have only 13 energies in this deck, so 10 basic and 3 Aurora energy for both Swampert and Whiskash. So Swampert only allows you to attach your basic energy cards, either one water or one fighting energy, but you can actually attach your special energy with this ability. So we have also one escape room and two break keepers for the switch. We have our regular supporter cards. We have three Marnies, three Research, one Shauna, one Copycat, and two Brunos for the draw. We have also one boss order and one Raihan for the extra support. So Raihan helps us just in case we can't get our Swampert out in time. If they boss order knock it out, if we can't use the ability, then at least we get to rely on Raihan to help us attach that extra 1 energy from the discard pile to do another Earthquake hit with either Whiskash or another Swampert. So Whiskash is not doing a lot of damage with Earthquake, only 140. Swampert can actually do more but it is a stage 2 and we're only playing 2 copies of it so we can't actually attack with it that many times in a single game. So make sure you time your attacks well. If you don't attack with a Swampert though, it's going to be much more difficult to knock out a VMAX Pokemon because Whiskash needs to do 3 hits. Finally, we're playing 2 different types of Pokemon with the same attack, hitting the weak spot against Fire and Lightning decks. So that's all for the deck list. Let's go ahead for game play let's shake things up with the sand whisk deck i don't think it's really that good but oh well illuminati illuminati 999666 i don't know what's all the fuss about the I don't really believe in Satan or God. I mean, if there is a God, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be here in the first place. Why would we? Why would we even be here? It makes no sense. Let's discard one more. Get another market. I think we just need experience shares though. I don't think we need Swampert. We just need like. Um. Raihan experience share. Is they crushing hammer though? Swampert's gonna help out a lot. Yeah. You can actually protect from crushing hammer. Team. Uh, Hydra Snipe, Team Yo, and all this stuff. Uh, let's just get. I want to be attacking, so we should actually do this one. Are we helping them if we use some Marnie? We should have used a copycat, because we are drawing 5 cards. That was quite stupid. Oh well. Hey, call me Ah. Uh. I'm gonna call you Triple A. How's it going, Triple A? Yeah, we have to do the limitless challenge 
A tournament, not a challenge. Um, and it's very scary. Because they're playing full on meta decks, super competitive. There are proper prizes on the line, so people are gonna be like full on crazy. They're gonna be like super intense. Get their game face on, and their new V Nexus, Gun, Genesex, and crazy parts. Yeah, Limitless Tournament. No incense, we got four incense. Come on, why is it so difficult to get a fucking incense? We got four risk cash, we're only evolving one. Sad, so we search for nothing. We got too many level balls. I think we need great ball. Should we try like place a level ball with a great ball? Don't quite like it though, because sometimes we need to we need a safe safe copy of Six summons. I think three VIP is good enough though. Three, four, five, six, seven, nine or ten. I don't really remember what how many copies were playing. I think one great ball should be okay though. We're not even playing that many Pokemon still. I think like eight copies or this cash. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 copies for Swampert. So that's like 14 Pokemon cards. That's. I don't think that's great ball worthy. Yeah, that one. The new Alt Art. Yeah, that one. It's super scary. Because the price is like so. So, what do you call that? Valuable, and everyone's gonna be like. Everyone's gonna fight for it like crazy. Um, how did they. Oh, we, we used Earthquake. I thought they banished energies. So, let's do Swampert on. play a Bruno right now? I don't really want to. Let's play a boss order. Ooh, we get to play a boss order. So we just need to use the other earthquake. It's actually the same name. The attack. Oh, I forgot where actually- oh dear. Uh, here comes Melanie and Max Bullet. I forgot about Max Bullet. We have no whiz cash. We need to evolve it now. I don't think Bruno is going to get as much though, it's very just to strike it now, right? We just need 180 more damage, I think. Yep, 180 is actually enough. Bird Keeper. We did just get a Bird Keeper. Oh, I'm sorry. We got a switch. Thank God we got a switch. Always safe to play enough copies of switch in your deck. Like, you have to. We have no choice but to. Oh, but we don't need to switch apparently. Because they're not doing something. We can always poison you though. Poison lock or like. Attack your bench while locking your active. So it's always safe to play switch first. Uh, oh, I forgot we actually need to attack with Swampert. Do we though? Can we even pull it off? We need two energy. I don't think Bruno is gonna get us. Oh, we got it. Much. We actually got the bloody energy. We've killed the Inteleon just now. <sighs> That's annoying. Is that annoying, guys? Let's just do Aurora again. Um, we're we gonna Fanny, so let's just do that. Shana. Barbara is dying. If we don't evolve it the next turn, we're dead. 60 is. Oh, they can't attack the bench. They <laughs> can't attack this one, thank god. But they can still do 60 to this one. If they boss already, they, can, they can't do 60 to this one. 
So that's the power of Whiskash. Whiskash submerge. Haha, I love this part. New Ushifu and Jonesy. Uh, once weak to its fighting type, the Tyranitus is weak to its fighting type. I don't think anything else is. Oh man, they killed the Barbroach. That's painful. Damn it. How much HP is Mudkip? You can actually kill me in Mudkip though. Uh, I don't think Vihan is going to help us. <laughs> I think we have to use a Raihan though. Should we do it? Let's just do a Bruno right now. Um, we shouldn't be wasting our Aurora energy because now we have no more we don't have any more mudkip anyways. I don't think we get to play a mudkip honestly. I don't think we can win that easy because they got frostmark. They just killed our our brooch. That's a bit sad. Uh, I don't believe this. We just need to kill the VMAX though. We just need one prize and one VMAX. If they attack us this turn, we're done. Um, not necessarily though, because I, I think we just need one Whiskash. Can they knock out the Whiskash? Oh, they can actually use Inteleon. They can use Inteleon to attack. Uh, another upper bullet. I don't think we can win. Yeah, we have to check in pretty soon. I forgot. We have to check in like right now, right this second. Um, 10 minutes to go, so let's just check in at the last minute. Yeah, we're retreating now and we've got enough energy. That's bad. They're killing. They have to kill Swampert. If they don't, they're done. There we go. Trading cord. Mm. And they got that one ready to go, the Inteleon. We're not winning this. What? They passed the turn. What? They did not just do that. Are we gonna Marnie them? Oh, they have eight cards left in their deck. We just need a VMAX knockout. I think they are baiting us. Oh, they want to attack with another one. Yeah, they are definitely baiting us. They want to attack with a new VMAX. They need to attach quite a lot of energy though. They got two now. They actually got two from the training court. Yeah, that was a big mistake. Oh, that's not a VMAX. So they are trying to kill us with a Suicune. That's horrible. Or like an Inteleon. Oh my god, we're dead. We're so dead. We got no boss order. No more boss order. What? What's happening? It's so weird. 130. Should we retreat right now? Do we have a switch? Oh, we can actually do this one. Um, let's just do, let's just Marnie and see if we get a switch. We want to use a Marnie. Right? We got three price cards now. We got a risk, another risk cash. So I think we're good. Uh, oh my goodness. Ten more minutes. Twelve more minutes. Okay, I actually have to like keep track. We have to shuffle the deck because we've got risk cash at the bottom now. We've got a Raihan, so I think they're okay. I think we're good. Raihan for risk cash. Um, they 
they can actually snipe the cockroach though. But if they do that, they have to kill their own D-Max. That D-Max is done. But no more bubble. So many miscarriage in the fire. I'm not sure if they drew the miscarriage for the fire or was it like you know I had already. I think they drew a bubble for the fire. Oh, it's a barb boach. I thought it's a barb boach. Barb boach. That sounds silly. Barb boach. It's a barb boach. I think they're playing the theme. Oh my god, this is so annoying. We have no choice. more minutes, oh my goodness, we have to do it now, fast. Uh, Raihan for what? I don't even know what we should be using Raihan for. Let's just do it. Submerge! I actually got another rare candy, I think. A four rare candy. We can actually evolve it as a swamper, but I don't think it's smart to, because they have this quick is gonna damage ourselves, we have max bullet for the extra damage. Um, they don't have another VMAX though, that's quite weird. They're only playing like... They didn't get their Inteleon. I think it's in the prize. Not, not many VMAX, not many V cards. They should be playing like a safe 3 copies. I think it's a League Battle deck, I mean 2 copies maybe? I don't even know. Prize quite a lot. So we won the game. Oh, they just considered. it. Go flash here. Uh, we won the game with a whisk cash, that's crazy, isn't it? So we're gonna sign up to the TC in this TCG. We're gonna add a great ball first. Because I know it's not gonna work. If you play anything but a meta deck, I'm not gonna win it. Come on. If we get to window, it would be insane. I'm just vying for that one good win. We can get that one good win. It's gonna take a lot of things to find this one if I win. And let's hope, let's just keep flipping the coin. At some point, we're gonna get three hits in a row, right? At some point. The coin of life. Giant. Retarded. Giant. Stupid coin of life. Okay. If it's a Gengar, we get to hit the Venus. We can actually use a Cheryl for Urshifu, but not for Gengar. But if they play a Cheryl, they can just shuffle back the energies. Uh, Houndoom is here, we're dead. <laughs> I don't want to play this, guys. I, I don't want to play this at all. I have no mood for this. Here comes the VMAX, and here comes the Houndoos, and here comes the boss order and killing Dark Sinnoh. Uh, I need this game. I'm, I'm just gonna do this. You know what? I can't do it. I don't, 
I've I've been a dog for and honestly I can't I can't do it guys. We lost three games in a row. This is the fourth loss. Four games in a row. Are we gonna PC? Are we not gonna PC? Are we gonna PC? If they get an Umbreon, I'm gonna consider. They just got so many incense. Have you any idea how difficult it is for us to get one incense? We got so many incense. We got so many incense. Why are they not using the single strike war? That's so weird.
I think they have it price. They actually have their single strike energies price. Isn't that lucky? That's quite lucky. Are we gonna get an energy with Barney? Got it. Yay. I think we should bench it though. I don't think it's gonna evolve. I don't think Umbreon is gonna evolve. We got another Swamp Bird, so we can actually attack with this one. Oh, they have to evolve. I didn't need really damages in here, no? Yeah, they had to evolve. We get to do great people now. Can they play Marty though? Are they gonna play Marty? That's crazy, bro. 
that but you can Oh shit, we should have done the We should have done Oh but we have submerged. Yeah it's smarter to do the swamp work because we got swamp submerged. So let's just draw out everything. Let's just discard our item cards. And where I can't be with the where I can be more. But no rods, no swamp bird, no mud kit. So if they marry, it wouldn't be too it wouldn't be too bad. One card left. They have to use a Marnie now. Definitely gonna play Marnie now. They can't do it the next turn though. They still have that one turn. They have to attack with another one. If they attack with this one, they're done. We just need the boss order at the right time. Can we pull it off? We got another Swamper, so we should be good, I think. For the energy. No, Marnie. <laughs> They're so dead. Okay, that was close. We won a single strike. We got so lucky. We got so lucky. Finally. Oh. But we're gonna hang in there and fight a thousand games until we get good wins for YouTube. I think Ghost is afraid of Ghost. Is, is that right? I'm, I'm not sure if I'm getting it right. Ghost type is afraid of Ghost type. Shadow Ball, I, I'm pretty sure I remember hitting, hitting Shadow Ball for twice the damage. Is that an intended move? Or Shadow. Yeah, my Shadow is cool. Isn't it? Uh, are we gonna do another whisk cash or like the marsh tong? Let's do the whisk cash because we got some merch already. We're gonna have to discard Raihan, but we don't have a choice. 
Oh, we should be squeaked ball this to bring away. Shadow GX. Very cool. type in your deck. If you play like water tag team, some more shadow, you get an extra one type. Cause it only works for PC though. Mewtwo and Mew is so much more powerful. I don't know what call it is. You get to use Solvers. You get to use um, what is it you get to use? Starting GX, King of Submerge, our second, third submerge. We're not gonna bench another one. We got a Bruno. 100 damage, that's sad, isn't it? Not even enough to knock out the Whiskash. Whiskash. Whiskers. Wet Whiskers. This deck is called. Sand whisk, <laughs> which is a play on words. Sandwich, sand whisk. Quite silly. But I don't know what to name it really. Wet whiskers, soil, soil something. I wanted to call it soil something, but I don't know what that something is. So I just landed on sand whisk. Thank 
think like a gala mine. And I think now of course it's like the Oma Star of Viper Oma Star. Gala mine. You can see his work keeper though. But if they don't get their work keeper, if they don't get their work keeper, you know that, or like yellow and mana, then you get to join an extra price card. ADP as well, you get that two extra price cards. If you do turn it up, you get four extra price cards. My bad, three extra price cards. So if you're not gonna tag team, a tag team with turn a profit after the shadow flicker, that's that's a lot, isn't it? That's like way too much. Like there's no way you can do that though, because turn a profit <laughs> does 30 damage. There's no way you can do that. Um, if you do AP, Alta Creation, Shadow Flicker, and a bunch of different other stuff, if you draw 6 price cards, like 1 knockout. Let's just save that 1 energy. Let's do it, let's just do it. What we can. Let's play. We still need to play the Asian Oh, here comes our MVP. Here comes our main value point. Submerge. They cannot target Whisk Cash on the bench. Rapid Flow is not doing anything against Whisk Cash. Yeah, this is the perfect matchup for us. But they were too slow though. They got a bad hand, they got a bad start. So it wasn't fair to start with. Muddy Mods. Yeah, that, that's quite nice. Muddy Mods. Mud Monster. Muddy Monster. Mud Monster. Muddy Monster. Mud Muddy Mods. Let's get the other energy out. Yeah, we got it. We have to attach that. So we need two energy. But we can actually attach later though, if we don't crush hammer. I think they have fennel waves. But no crushing hammer. Let's hope. Because they just remastered it with a uh, shadow. Never really know what they're playing. Got Seabold in there, Paul Pad, Rod. Stone Energy Revolution Energy is going to be quite a lot of fun. Shauna. Shauna is so bad. I really don't fight her. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. I don't like it. But Dragonite, you get to fetch two though. Dragonite Colossal, you get to fetch two energies. Two energies a lot. Money Maker, you get to fetch one. Either a water or a fighting. I actually played this with Rapid Push, but it works really well because water slash fighting is a very good energy. Oh, they killed that one. They killed our spawn. I 
forgot to check. And we can skip that. Yeah, there was something so we made fun. Oh, I forgot about Limitless. Oh dear, I forgot about Limitless. Um, I think we're still good. Matching now. Uh, let's just focus on this one. Um, this one okay, let's win it. Let's just focus on this one. Uh, this is annoying. I checked in, but um, I don't accept the challenge of the map. Is this the level of boss? No boss on it. I don't think I'm use this game, can we actually use this game? I don't think it's a good submerge. I think we're a guild house there. Ah, I think we're gonna lose because we don't have boss order. We just need that one boss order. Seabold. Now we can't attack, can you believe that? Okay, we got a money. But we're gonna draw out everything though. We got two turns left. Two turns after this one. Or so then. They play another seaboard right there. Um, we got no escape rope, no boss order. If they stall with the one kind, we're good as well. Uh, there's no way we can win. We have to hit this one. Or this one. But they can't attack with the one kind still, right? If they're smart enough, they're gonna do that because we got two, two cards left in the deck. If they're smart enough, they're gonna put a one price as the active and not attack. Because that actually helps them win. But they don't know if they have a boss on it though. They don't know if they have a boss on it. They don't know that. The escape rope actually helps as well. Even if they bench one, you just need two more cards. Uh, we got two minutes left on the clock. It's gonna be an automatic blast. Oh, they haven't checked in though. It's gonna be an automatic blast if we don't <laughs> challenge them in two minutes. So, let's see what happens. Oh my god. We're stuck. I don't think they have any more energy. This is sad though. I, I was so sure we were gonna win. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, no more energies. That's the last of it. They just need one guild for us. We're done. We're gonna do it now. I know it. Rapid Strike Energy. Oh my god. What? They got it in their head. So many energies. Won. Can you believe that? They weren't smart enough. They should have just all they need to do is retreat to a one prize. At least give it a try.
Trader 637 this cash finally a hundred and forty damage Oh, we forgot to evolve. I 
軽くレンズが限定が打ってくれるから、すごく軽くて。Oh, they got single strike energy, it's enough to hand send them. No, they don't need to play the support. Okay, they have to attack the first one. I forgot to do Money Maker. You could have done Money Maker. Oops, I forgot to do that. You need one more price though. Cabin's Conviction. A hundred, a hundred plus damage. A hundred and seventy damage. Cabin is crazy. Cabin's Conviction at a hundred damage. It's a very good
Okay, that means we won a single fire solution. We got lucky there. I mean, there's always an element of luck and skill involved with it. <coughs> so let's fight against new v knights Whatever deck they are playing. And we win with a wrist catch deck. Let's find out. Let's just keep the quick ball, whatever. We got Bird Keeper if they boss order, we got Bird Keeper. Rebel can say Zashin Zamazenta, can we win against Zashin? 17 minutes left. Yeah, I started the game, started it late, sorry guys. About 5 minutes late. Are we gonna quick ball first? Let's just do a quick ball. Get another mud kit. And what we get from the top deck is your guess is as good as mine. We need quite a lot though to be able to pull off something. I think we should be evolving this one because we're probably not gonna get we're probably not gonna get anything with the supporter cards we're probably not gonna get incense even though we are playing four copies you, you have no idea how difficult this game is it's impossible you would think it's easy to evolve but no way they would never make it so easy. I think they're doing crushing hammer. Okay, another boss. At least we forced them to waste their boss. And we got another energy here. Let's do copycat Marnie. Should we do a research? I don't really want to use a Marnie. So let's do a copycat. Save Bruno for later. We got a Marnie, that's great. They wasted two balls orders so. though. I'm gonna have a look at their list. So they're playing Zashin, Samazenta, D Reddon, Emet. Playing Crystal Cave, Team Yell, Team Yell Towel, a lot of heal cards, um, Ball Crushing Hammer, Team Yell Towel, Tool Scrapper, Adventurer, Professor's Research, Boss Order, Metal Fighting, um, a lot of Boss Order apparently. Four, they played three Boss Orders already. Okay, interesting. So we're gonna do another wish cash. We're just gonna ride hunt at the last minute. We're not gonna play a Marnie. We're gonna try to win the game by knocking out the Zamazenta. If they stall with the boss another boss order though, I don't know what to do. Yell towel. Alright, we can actually heal now. 140 is not enough. But we actually enough. We need another yell towel. They got only two yell towels, but they got four crystal caves. Three Avery. Uh three professors research, four discovery. So they knocked us out, I think. 
I think it's enough, right? 140. So we get to do Raihan for a. Should we do a Swampert or a Submerge? I think we should do Swampert. Let's just do this one. One incense, that's great. Barboach as well. We can't attack yet. We got no bronzong metal saucers. I don't think they can attack. They can use crystal cave though. There we go. So we need like three or maybe even four hits to knock out the VMAX. It's gonna be very difficult to pull that off. We got one more boss on her as well. I don't think they have a Cheryl. So no Cheryl, one more Yell Towel I think. Do we have any more Yell Towels? One more Yell Towel. Okay, we're gonna do Great Ball first. Got a Risk Catch, that's great. We're gonna evolve the Swamper. We should be attacking the Swamper though. Because if we strike it twice, we can actually knock it out. Let's do a research. Let's just spread our energy. Um, I don't think it's smart to spread energy, so... But I don't really think we have a choice. No more barboach, but we still have one mudkip. So let's hope we get to use Bruno the next one. So another uh, earthquake from Whiskash, another earthquake from Swampert, we can knock it out quite easily. Oh, they actually force us to discard something. Oh no. Damn it. Avery. Avery is really good against one price decks. Oh no. Oh, they got no energies? Why are they discarding from the active? I don't think they have energy. That's sad. We just need one energy though. Should have saved the energy from our hand. Because now we're stuck. I think we're gonna bird keep her because Shauna is probably not gonna get us anything. I wanna play a Bruno. Let's just try. Okay, we got it, that's great. We're gonna attach one here. And like prepare the Swampert maybe. I think 143 times is enough though. If you play Yell Towel, 130 plus 40. Plus 30, it's not it's not actually enough. So let's just keep the energy and see what we get. Let's just oh we can't actually bench another, we've got no more. So let's just save the energy. They boss order though. Boss order yell towel. They got one last yell towel. Let's hope they don't get to pull it off. Sonia for energies probably no Marnie that's great if they retreat we got boss order waiting for them 110 we can knock it out with the Viscash we should be using Swampert though because we are damaging Swampert with our earthquake if we use Swampert, we are not damaging our risk cash. But we have no choice. Can't actually risk using a Swampert. Let's 
so we're just going to attach with this one. Marnie, I suppose. They're not playing any one prize, so ball sorry is not going to help us. Should we shuffle the deck though? I don't know if we should attach to this or that one. Let's just do this one. Just in case they... Um... Fan of waves is. They use a fan of wave, but it's still good. We've got one prize card left. This is very close. They just need to kill... A couple. We're actually slowly killing our own boat. Oh, they just conceded though. Oh, that was a good win. We, I can't believe we won against a Zashin deck. A Duelidon Zashin deck. Wow. Tion. Let's fight against the Jolteon. Let's kill the Jolteon VMAXs. Yeah. Kill them. We're up against a Rage Drago. It's actually our second turn. That's a surprise. Uh oh, we should have attached to the bench though, because we got an escape rope. Oh well. We can do it the next turn. We can kill that uh Rage Drago the next turn. But a research. But we need to evolve the swamp bird first. I think. Turbo. Earthquake. Boost cash. Only two energies. If they don't crushing hammer, they're safe for a turn 2. 140 damage attack. Quite strong. Against one price as well. No Elder Goss. No Chevron. No experience share. They can play a Raihan. Turbo patch Raihan. Are they gonna do that? They just conceded. Oh my god, that was so unlucky. We lost to an electric deck. How is that even possible? I don't believe this. We just need one energy for fuck's sake. I don't believe this game. I just, I don't believe this game. We get such bad luck against an electric deck. Like, come on. I don't want to play this game. I really don't want to play this game. I'm so sick of this shit. You keep doing this, this nonsense. We got, can you believe that? We got no supporter cards to start with. And then we keep drawing nothing but supporter cards at the end. That's so fucking stupid. That never happens to anyone else. It never happens to anyone else. So fucking stupid.
again low energies. I'm so sick of this game. If you play like Rapid Strike Uchiko, you just need 4 capture and 4 Rapid Strike. 8, eight energies, and they always get their energies. They always get it at the right, the precise moment. Just when they need it, they always get it. I'm playing 12 fucking energies for God's sake. 12 fucking energies. We're not gonna win this. I, I know it. I, I know we're not gonna win a single game. I know this. I know, I already know how this game goes. you are not gonna let us win. I don't know what what sort of blacklist we're on, but whatever deck you play, it doesn't matter what deck you play. It doesn't matter if you're playing a new V Max. We never win a single game. We're not gonna ever win a single game with this stupid, stupid fucking idiot Pokemon. Pokemon is for idiots their way through life every single day. Pokemon is for idiots. Seven cards with a Bruno for God's sake. Oh 
We're not gonna give up. They want us to give up. We're not gonna give up. We're gonna play 10 hours straight. You think it's that easy for us to give up? No, it's not easy. We're gonna have to try harder. Fucking idiot government. The government is controlling everything. They're controlling the odds. They're trying to kill me. I know it. They're trying to kill me. It's not so easy to kill a person. You see other people, they get they get so easy. They get to play... They, the Charizard, they get to play it so easy. Fucking Charizard. They get their energy so easy. It's not even fair, yo. This game is not even fair. It's not fair. We're not gonna get an energy, I know it. We got 13 energies, but we're not gonna get it. And now that I mention it, they're gonna give us they're gonna give us a top deck energy now. Fucking idiot Pokemon. That every time I say something about it, they're gonna give me. But when I don't say anything, they're not gonna give me. When it's expected that I should be getting energies, they don't give me energies. I played a Bruno for God's sake. We didn't even have enough energies to start with. There are so many more energies in the deck just now. For oh, fuck's sake, it's so obvious. Someone's fucking cheating. It's so obvious. If you can't see that, you're an idiot. They're gonna flip 10 hits in a row, I know it. They're gonna flip 20 hits now. They're gonna heal all damage with the lucky ice pop. I know it. This is how the game play this is how they play you. This is how the game works. 10 200 hits with a one lucky ice pop. That's how they fucking cheat this fucking game. Cheaters, they fucking cheat every day. 200 200 hits with one coin flip. 200 fucking hits with one coin flip.
dumb fucking pussy. Dumb fucking pussy. Kind of the same thing, I don't even know. Because the get to his met party, uh, he waits for that. Oh, 
the Corvette, it's a research. Mine? Research? What? I think it's safer to play that one though. Should we play the safer one? Are we gonna knock it out? If we do that, we can actually prepare a swamp bird to attack. So let's do it. We've got two players cards. Keep playing until I get a good win. I don't care. I don't care if I have to sit here for 10 years straight. I'm not gonna shower. I'm not, I'm not gonna sleep. I'm not gonna do anything until I win. I, I get a good win. I don't care. I'm gonna get one good win one way or another. We just need to evolve, but we're not gonna get it. We got four waste cash, four evolution. We are, we are not gonna get it. We're not gonna get it. This fucking game makes no sense at all. Fucking game for idiots. Dumb fucking game. We're not gonna win this. It's a fucking ice rider. We're not gonna win this. 
That was stupid. They actually save our energy. So fucking stupid. They're saving our energies for Swampert. No energies, I know it. We just need two, but we're not gonna get it. Fucking retarded game. A game for morons. kill you right now. I don't think it's smart to bench anything. stuck as well we got no supporter cards I think I'm gonna add another Shauna copycat is useless Shauna is better even a sh useless Shauna even a useless Shauna is better than copycat another research would be great though yeah maybe I'm gonna play another research if we get too many rare candies and swamper though we have to discard them so research is a bit bad in that sense. Lucky bastard. They're doing it. They're fucking killing us with max lance. We don't even need it because we have 80 60 HP remaining. Right of the High King. We just need to kill one VMAX though. Can we pull it off?
Yeah, we'll boss order in this week. 80 HP, 60 HP. We're gonna use some Marty. We use some Marty. We get to use this cash to collect the knockout. Um, because we just need two energies, but it's quite difficult to get an energy though if they use a Marty on us. Could go both ways this game. Let's hope we can win. An Ice Rider. They didn't use the Marty. We won. Yeah, we won an Ice Rider. Finally, a good win. Oh, it took forever for that one good win. Jesus.
switching cups. Fire weave. Uh, it's not fire though, is it? It's a dark type. The pause are over done. If we get a bird keeper, that'd be great though. I think we're gonna touch Aurora and then research. Or maybe just attach the basic for the retreat. And then copycat. Eternatus. Eternatus grow back. We turn at this again the third time, we're probably gonna lose this one again This is a meta deck uh, Let's just hope for the back We're gonna attach the Aurora energy And research Okay, we got a Swampert That's great Are we gonna bench everything right now? Let's just do it Let's just do everything while we can. Oops, I almost got the wrong one. We got an extra energy, but I don't know which one to attach to. Because we got nothing else in our hand. We have to evolve. We shouldn't be benching so much, but we need to evolve. We should actually bench only when we know we can evolve. Oh well. Another stupid healing deck. Please, no more, please. Thank you. It's not enough now, we need two more hits. We just need to heal one. Escape rope. Keeper. Oh, perfect. Got a Marsh Tom. Let's just get something out of the way. Nothing. Oh well. We got a uh, one hit knockout though, at least. We need Miss Cash. We need Incense. We can't do without Incense. They're knocking us out. 120. Oh, not yet. Thank God. Thank God this is clean. No damage counters yet. I don't think we get to play Bird Keeper though. Let's just keep the hand, wait for Raihan.
we play a bird keeper right now? I don't know. Let's just do this one. If we don't evolve the next turn, we're dead. We have to evolve three Whiskash. I don't know what to do with me. Are we gonna escape bro? Oh, they have a... <laughs> Arthur Helmet. I think it's a random deck. Switching cups, I mean, they're playing a very random deck. It's not a proper alternative, is it? Stage 2. Go back. Schoolgirl. Twin energy. Why do they have a twin energy? For Crobat, maybe? We got one Whiskash. But we actually need a lot more. Should we play the rock right now? We do this one or the other one. Let's just do the weak one. If we don't get our whisk cash though, I don't think I want to attack. I think we have to get the whisk cash though, right? But wait, we have to discard something first. We have one last Whiskash. We didn't get it. We didn't get it. We got rods though. We're helping them a lot. Because they just drew two prizes. And we're down to two attackers left. just need to boss out of the Moltres though. Iron 80 damage. Boss ought to use Swamper to kill it off. They have to attack with Eternatus. 60 damage is actually enough. We should have beat them with this one. For how Eternatus can attack. But they probably are benching a lot though. We just need to bench a lot. I think it's a guest player because they should be benching a lot by now. We got no supporter cards. Nothing but a schoolgirl for so many turns. Finding someone else with bad luck. You have to retreat, right? If 
they're silly enough to attack with Moltres in their time. Just need two strikes to kill the Eternity though. This is actually weak to his dark type. Fighting type, my bad. So let's just attach one here. And maybe attach another to the other. Swampert, if we have, if we can evolve. Okay, we can actually evolve. We got two energies on this one. Do we have Aurora energy? We got one left. One left in the day. Uh, we've got a Vihan. So let's just discard that. Oh, they gave us another energy. Two prize cards. I wonder what kind of hand they have. I'm really wondering what kind of hand they are. They're playing. I think they're playing like the Crobat draw engine. Golbat, Crobat. And like silly supporter cards. I don't think you get to draw a lot with these cards. You need research and money. Either they are super unlucky or they are just like a beginner. I choose to believe they are super unlucky. Because it is an Eternatus, at least we get to kill an Eternatus deck. At least we get to win once against Eternatus. I'm just gonna pause the turn until we get energy. Oh, they just knocked themselves out. Oh, not yet though. We got 10 HP left. Are we gonna attack or are we gonna use a Shauna? If we got another energy, is it done? Uh, let's just do the energies. Don't need anything else. Sixty is not enough. We should be trying our luck, but they're probably gonna bench something. I mean, they have to bench something.
they're gonna retreat now. They retreat to Zubat. You actually have to boss out of them. And you may not get a hint. The boss order. Confusion. Team Yell, oh my god. No. They're forcing us to attack. Oh, they finally got their cards. Finally <laughs> got so bad and Team Yell. We're gonna retreat, probably. Retreat to the Zubat. Oh, Moltres. Are they gonna kill us with a Moltres? 180 is enough there. Let's kill the Eternatus. And they actually gave us 3 more damage counters. Let's kill the Eternatus. Yeah. Oops, buddy maker. Hit the wrong button. Earthquake. Oof. Energy probably. We're gonna put better fighting because they get to knock it out. We won already. Like, come on, we got two prizes left. I think they're forcing us to wait. <laughs> Eternatus. We want Eternatus though. Uh, not a proper Eternatus deck, but uh, a good win nonetheless. A control deck. An Eternatus control deck. They're playing Yellhorn, Team Yell. So that's all for this deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's called the Sand Whisk, featuring our Fusion Strike Swampert with the Muddy Maker ability and also Earthquake Attack, doing 180 damage for only three energies. We actually get to use Aurora Energy because we're playing three copies. But the main attacker, though, our main attacking card is Whisk Cash because we're playing four copies of it. We're playing four copies of Barbroach as well. So we want to be using this as support for the ability. Muddy Maker actually allows you to attach any one energy, either a water or a fighting energy, from your hand to any one of your Pokemon in any way you like, uh, every turn for each Swampert you have in play. So we are trying to use Muddy Maker for that extra one energy cost to satisfy Earthquake's attack cost, doing 140 damage uh, to your opponent's active Pokemon for only two energies, but you have to actually attach two fighting energies and you actually have to damage your bench Pokemon. 20 damage to each of our bench Pokemon, uh, but if you have the submerge ability, if you have, uh, you know, if you evolve all of your Whisk Cash on your bench, you actually get to uh, prevent damage done by your Pokemon and also your opponent's Pokemon to that Whisk Cash. So if Whisk Cash is on your bench, you get to be protected from all damage done by your opponent's Pokemon and by your own attacks as well. So submerge is a very strong ability against Rapid Strike Ushifu, against Intellion VMAX, Max Bullet, against a lot of uh, snipe cards like Jolteon VMAX. But if they pull a Jolteon VMAX, you actually need to evolve fast. Uh, we lost 4 games to Jolteon VMAX just because we can't evolve fast enough. Even though we are playing 4 copies of Incense and uh, 1 Great Ball, 4 Incense and 1 Great Ball is a lot of cards to be able to evolve fast. But Jolteon is way too fast. Jolteon is much much faster because we can't actually evolve without uh, Breeder. We need to add like Breeder, Pokekid, and a lot of other different cards. More Great Balls, more Pokeballs or something like that. Maybe a Yamper Pokeball Great Ball combo. Yamper Ball Search for more, uh, you know, for more Pokeball Great Ball. Uh, cards that you get to play. So each, if you use the ball stage, you get to play more of your great balls every single turn as well. You get to bring out your risk cash, evolve faster. Maybe that's an option, but I don't know. I just, I kind of prefer not having that combo just because we actually need supporter cards. We need supporter cards to draw our energy cards. We need to rare can evolve. We need to do a lot of things in at the same time as attacking. We need to be attacking as fast as possible with Earthquake doing uh, 140 damage for two energies a lot. But we actually need to do uh, earthquake for for our Swampert. If we can attack with Swampert, that would be better because it's doing slightly more damage. 180 damage, but it's a stage 2 though. We only have 2 copies of Swampert, 4 copies of Whisk Cash. So we can only attack with a couple of times with our Swampert, but we have to. Sometimes it's better to do it. It's better to do it while you can because it's doing 180 damage. Collecting the knockout, if you have, if you have 14 damage counters from your last Earthquake hit with your Whisk Cash, you can actually collect the knockout with 1 Swampert. Uh, so if they play like a Rayquaza or anything 320 HP Pokemon, you just need one attack with Whisk Cash and one attack with Swampert and you're good for a 3 price knockout. So that's how strong this deck is. We have uh, three, 
three VIP passes, four level balls, and three quick balls to get our basic Pokemons. We have four incense and one great ball, as I said, to get our evolution. We have three rare candies, only three rare candies just because we don't need that much. We uh, Supporter cards are more crucial, and we got one Marsh Tom just in case we don't get our rare candy. We got three, uh, three Mudkips and two Swampert, four copies of each, uh, Whiskash and Barbroach. And we have... One escape rope, two break keeper for the switch. One right hunt for extra energy acceleration, just in case we don't get our uh, our swampert out in time. And we got one boss order, and we got three marnies, three research. I think we got three marnies. I'm not sure. Okay, three marnies, three research, two brunos, two break keeper, and one shauna for the draw. We also have one copycat. I think I'm gonna swap this for another shauna because copycat actually it's a very iffy card to be playing. If your opponent has very few cards, if they have one card left in their hand or no cards in their hand. You actually don't get to play this card, so this is quite useless sometimes. But if they have, like, if they draw a lot of prize cards though, if they knock out two of your Pokemon at the same time, draw a lot of prize cards, if you play like Rugged Helmet or something, then it's a good card to be playing. But since we're not playing a VMAX deck, since they are not uh, knocking us out a lot of Pokemon at the same time, since we have the Submerge ability, we actually get to protect this card from damage done. If it's on the bench spot, it's a bench barrier on itself. So it's a self bench barrier ability we get to protect from multiple knockouts on our opponent's end and we actually don't get to do a we don't have, we don't get to force our opponent to draw a lot of prize cards so copycat is actually counterproductive for this deck i i should actually add another shauna or another schoolgirl or schoolboy or something like that so we have three rng for both swampert and whiskash we got 10 copies of our basic fighting energy just because we are playing our main attacking card is fighting energy costs and we actually need what only one water energy to satisfy this attack cost. So our energy, we are playing three copies. We are only playing two copies of Swampert. So sometimes we may not be able to attack with this uh, card in a single game. But if we can attack with it, make sure you do because 180 damage is a lot. As I said, you can collect the knockout very easily against a VMAX deck. We're not playing any Vitality Bands, no Leon. So we're only doing base 140 damage against a VMAX. That's not going to be enough to collect the knockout with two hits. You actually need three hits against a normal VMAX. Or even a Mew VMAX, you need still 3 hits. If they play Oriko Rio and, uh, you know, Resistance as well, then you can't actually knock it out. Even with 3 hits, it's still it's very, very difficult. So that's how bad this card is sometimes if you're up against the wrong matchup. If you're up against, like, Psychic Dex, uh, Oriko Rio Fusion Strike as well, it's going to do a lot less damage. So that's the bad thing about this card. But the good thing is it has the Submerge ability, only 2 energy attack costs, and it's turbo fast, it's super fast, and you get to attack non-stop with only 2 energies. Uh, using your Muddy Maker to help charge it up for that extra one energy. So that's all for the deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're signing off now. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. If you find our videos interesting, entertaining, or fulfilling in any way, we'll see you on the next time. Have a nice day and bye for now, lovely people. Tune in for the next episode for more cool new combos featuring new cards from Fusion Strike, Evolving Sides, Pokemon Celebrations. Today, we are featuring the all the way back to Rebel Clash, our Whiskash with the Submerged ability, very strong self bench barrier ability, and also Earthquake doing 140 damage for only two energies, as I said, and Swampert. New Fusion Strike Swampert with the Muddy Maker ability allowing you to attach that one extra energy, either a Water or a Fighting. Very, very good for your Rapid Strike combo because it's actually a Rapid Strike energy. It's half a Rapid Strike energy, uh, Water or Fighting energy, and then you get to attach it from your hand to any one of your Pokemon in any way you like. For each Swampert you have been played, we are only playing two copies though, but we have uh, three Mudkips, so we may actually be able to bring out, we may be able to have two copies of Swampert in play uh, on the same game. Uh, in a single turn to be able to attach up to three energies in a single turn so that's how powerful muddy maker is uh, earthquake 180 damage twin energy cost and then one at water energy we got aurora energy to satisfy its attack cost three aurora energy for our earthquake on swampert's end so that's all for this deck hope you guys enjoyed it have a great day and bye for now lovely people